Hey there guys, welcome back to the Football Manager channel. This is Full Time FM and we're at the Celtic series where we just about let go of young lad Davy Henderson, a 19 year old attacking fullback, valued at 62 grand. I've negotiated a fee with Alloa of half a million plus 100 grand in two instalments over 12 months, 100 grand after 50 games, and 100 grand after 10 internationals. Plus 50% of profit from net sale. And uh, it's okay. 13 tackling. 15 pace and acceleration. 16 bravery. Um, play left back. Um, can also play left wing back or right back. It's fairly ambitious. I mean, you know. I think we bought him off Ross County for a couple hundred grand. So, yeah, if we let him go, we let him go. Um... Anyway, Chelsea have made a bid for Jozik Bilic. Um, Non-negotiable, 68 million. <sighs> it's valued at 6 million. 55 million up front, and then four... Uh, sorry, three um, instalments of 4.58 million. I'm going to reject it. There you go. He's one of my favourite new gens ever. I wish I could have a Jozik Bilic in every save I did. Um, make parting comments, Anderson. You're welcome back any time. He's had a great time. Good. Helped him improve. That's good. Nana Amoa. Going loan to St. Johnston. As a squad player. Um, how about a regular starter? Yeah, they've agreed to that. Okay, so... Here we going out on loan. I'll assign Henderson, which is good. One more player out the door. Could do with a few more. Um, ooh, Dunfermline. Neil Campbell, gone out on loan. Morgan Feeney, gone out on loan. You've sold Stephen Kingsley to Lincoln. Uh, okay. Rangers spent six million on Koku. Uh, okay. Uh, Rangers got somebody on loan from Chelsea. Tomelo Mothwa, who is a central defender, a wonder kid. Six foot six. Ooh, we'll scout him. Eleven million he's valued at. Um, they also got um, Southampton Alan Chapchet Alan Chapchet there you go 21 year old central defender so they've gone for a couple of centre halves depending on long fee uh, Celtic to Alloa 600 grand that's good we haven't signed anyone um, oh, we have actually new gens. Um, let's see. So we're gonna just do this transfer window before we get into the game and start playing a few. Uh, busy final day ahead. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog Jess snoring in the background. She's forever snoring. I think she waits until I start recording. And then she just decides right now is a good time. Man City mate McKinley offer. You're not having him. Transfer deadline has passed. Ah oh, crap. I was hoping to get rid of a few more players. We did get rid of David Neres to Chelsea for forty five and a half million. We bought him Van der Voort, the keeper for twenty three and a half million, the Wonder Kid. Uh we let Thomas Leake go to Benfica for eighteen and a quarter million. Thirteen players, so we were the most active. Uh we're still top of the oh no, Rangers played. And they're a point ahead of us. We'll sort that out. Josip Bilic, 10 goals, his leading goal scorer at the moment. OK. 
say? Nico Serrano. He's been playing well, you know. Let's bring him back. Uh, ah, crap. I can't recall him from loan. Ah, I could recall him before. Why couldn't I? Why can't I do it now? What the hell? Hmm. Praise Embu, 10 out of 10 in training. And Matt's Cohen as well. Also 10 out of 10 in training, so we've got to say something about him. There you go, exceptional. There we are. So we spent 73 million on those new gens. So the lad from Dunfermline, 46, the recommendation. Spencer Cutter is looking at Bernardo Cuto, 45, the recommendation. Josh Mayer, 44. Okay. So they're not recommending any players from Dunfermline, so you're safe, Brian. You're absolutely safe. So we play Dundee now, who are fifth. And uh, let's get into it. Let's pick the squad. Okay, guys. So because we played Dundee today and Dunfermline next, I'm actually going to uh, play our most expensive um, team against uh, Dundee. So the most expensive team I could play. See if they can wipe the floor with them. Uh, and then we'll probably play a load of new gens against uh, Brian Keady's Dunfermline side. Right. So let's see how we do. Four four one one against us. Um, Okay, we'll be playing a 4-2-3-1. We got Van der Voort in goal. Uh, Vinicius Alcantara, the new complete wing back who likes to attack. A uh, new gen player we've just signed. Along with Christopher Ayer and Juan Joe Catalan in defence with Greg Taylor at left back. In midfield, we got Florentino Luiz and Eduardo Camavinga. Uh, out wide we've got Gabigol and Timo Werner and up front we've got Moise Keane with Thiago Almada playing behind him I think this team to be honest with you is uh, let's go very attacking and let's start them to be creative first 30 seconds there's Thiago Almada oh he's at the post and then it's it Enwick in the back and he's booted it clear. Christopher Ayer sends it out to Greg Taylor. And uh, that was unlucky, that was. That was very unlucky. Kaelin Hines has scored for Aberdeen against Dunfermline. James Tavernier scored for Rangers against Falkirk, so definitely need a win. Catalan over the top for Greg Taylor. And finds Florentino Luis. Oh, Alcantara, the, the new right wing back, Vinicius Alcantara. Did he hit that left footed? Here he is. Yeah, he did he hit it left footed. Bottom right corner. And we couldn't get near it. There you go, on his debut. Gonna show you stats then. Uh, done firmly now two down. It's Aberdeen. So Van der Voort, new goalkeeper, he comes out to claim that. Gives it Greg Taylor. Camavinga looks up for Timo Werner. 
Oh, lays out of plate for Gabby goal. Sits yard out. He can't put it past Anwick with a header. And we can see here. Venetia Salcantar, 18-year-old Brazilian. Right, complete wing back who supports. Um, tackling 10, but passing 16. Dribbling, first touch technique, 17. It's pretty good. It's very attacking. Oh, let's play one in for Moyes Keane. Anwick saves it. Thiago Almada tucks away the rebound. Fifth goal of the season for him, 2-0. And... Uh, I think it was uh, Miguel de Souza in the comments, I think. Um, sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, saying he couldn't get a game out of Thiago Hamada. He's, uh, he's basically got him in that number 10 role and he's not playing that well for him. But uh, he's doing really well for us. Maybe, maybe it's the English league he struggles in. But when he went on loan to Arsenal, he did really well. And... Um, yeah, he looked the business. So 2-0 up at half time, which is good. And uh so the boys that excellent effort there, Mr. Monkey says. Alright. Christopher Ayer and Alcantara's got uh yeah yellow card each, but Ayer is complacent. I do not like that. Tiago Armada putting one in for Catalan or oh. Heads it over the bar. Here he is again. Florentino Luis. Gives it Christopher Ayer. Wanjo Catalan takes over. Finds Timo Werner. Who crosses for Moise Keane. Keeper punches away. Preston's in trouble here. He tries to clear it. Comes to Florentino Luis. He feeds in Gabby Goal. One on one, Enwick makes a great save. We're putting him under massive pressure here. Alcantara to Gabby Goal, back to Florentino Luis. Forward for Moise Keane, he's through on goal. Oh, Enwick's having a game of his life. 2 0, he stood up and made a save there. Almara's corner misses everybody. I think, um, I think what I'm going to do is bring on Weston McKenney for Florentino Louise, bring on Stuart Finley for Christopher Ayer, and bring on Brahim Badui for Vernicius Alcantara, the right wing back, because I don't want him getting sent off. Uh, Embu is already serving a suspension. So let's bring those players off and play it safe. I uh, want to keep my attacking players on. Try and get them match sharp and get them a bit of a game. Next bit. Oh, great save by Van der Voort down to his near post. So those changes are made. We'll have a good 20 odd minutes uh, to uh, to settle in. I'll just demand more from them. Oh no. Alex Iacoviti has just scored. Ah. That's not good. Right. Stay calm. Um, let's push higher up. There's a bit with a corner. Iacoviti. I can't think he'll be out jump there. Maybe in West no. Maybe in Gabby Goal if it weren't Western McKenney. There's Nesbit. Come on boys, get stuck in. Hack it all the way back to the keeper. Oh Almada getting his foot in there. Gabby Goal has it. Nice ball to McKenney. Inside for Moise Keane, he's through. Oh, keeper makes a save again. Be another corner. Almada to McKenney, it's over. Oof. Tell you what, 
just to be safe here let's close down these players and uh, not make it easy for them you know I mean, we should be able to see this game out. Five minutes left, really. Timo Werner's on to that one. Knocks it past the full-back. And past another man. Cross is blocked. Watson comes away with it. Timo Werner, look at the work rate on him. Getting back there to put in a, uh, a challenge that he picks up a yellow card for. Four minutes of injury time. Werner wins the header. Greg Taylor has it. Inside to McKenney, he looks for Timo Werner again. Can he cross find Keane? No, he finds McKenney. Oh, McKenney's last one. He's absolutely last one home to seal the deal. 3 1. Second goal of the season for Western McKenney. The assist by Thiago Almada. Timo Werner works his ass off for that. There we go. Here's Kamavinga to Werner. Oh, is it a post? Hackett has cleared it away. Is it Hackett or Holkett? I don't know. It's uh, Holkett. There you go. 64% possession. 30 shots, 17 on target. Vinicius Alcantara, 97% pass completion ratio. 8.4 out of 10. Very impressive debut. Uh, very, very impressive. Boys did well. Excellent effort. Mr. Monkey says so. I believe him. And you can see here, done firmly now four points off relegation. We're a point behind Rangers, but we have a game in hand. Uh, never fear, we will beat them. Don't worry about it. Alcantara scores on his debut. There you go. Um... Passing was a joy to behold. Perfect morale as well. He's going to be a very, very good player for us. Celtic to register players. Okay, I better do this now, haven't I? Oh, look at all those new gens unregistered. Okay, so we got to pick a team against Brian, um, Brian Keady's side, uh, Dunfermline. Now, Smith, Ferrara, they're already... Um, ineligible as is Clarkson and Avere and Porteous and Larson. Um, yeah, Ferrara, he doesn't play for them though, does he? Oh, he's at Lazio. Okay. Another wonder kid that'll come back to us. So, I think I'm going to play probably one of our strongest teams. Let me just. Get rid of the players that are not at the club and not available. There we go. Um, let's play Badui, Gebby, Ayer, Murdoch, Louise. Um, that's going to play right wing. McKenny can play midfield. Uh, Sandro Marchese. This is the new midfield player isn't it okay um, so we need attacking centre mid a left mid and a striker I'm literally picking the fittest team I've got at the moment um, Stephenson on goal Alex Bruno, Liam Morrison for the defence, Henderson, Marchese, and who else? Um, let's play Carabayal and Bilic on the bench. That looks pretty good actually, pretty strong. Um, yeah. I think we'll give them a bit of a game. If anything, we may move Marchese into midfield instead of Kavanagh. 
and we'll bring Carabayal and Bilic on in place of Cohen and Embu to play it from with Morris and go 4-3-3 maybe do that so submit those numbers and away we will go they're gonna play uh, a 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one formation so they've got McGilvery in goal, Coleman, Woods, Butcher, Edwards across the back, Kuto in the DM role, Claire, Farai, Gerson and Bowler in midfield and Marcus Force up front. Who's Josh Bowler? He's wanted by West Brom. Left winger Agility 16, dribbling 16, everything else kind of 14 or 11. So there's a right winger who's going to be playing on the left. And they got him from Everton, where he'd only played two games in that two years. Two games in four years that he'd been with Everton. So there you go. Um, it looks like he's picked up some uh, free transfers. So we got uh, Badui, Gebby, Murdoch, Cohen, Kavanagh, Ember and Morris as our new gens on the field. I think Brian Keady's been uh, spending a little money since Dunfermline got a takeover. Well, that means, you know, spent 950 grand on that, uh, what's it called, for Rye, and one and a half million on that Gerson. So he's probably spent two and a half, three million quid. I, I don't know if that might feel like a lot for Dunfermline. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being disrespectful or not, because I don't know what Dunfermline normally work with. So <laughs> I'm trying not to be uh, discouraging or disrespectful. Players are inspired by that feedback. This is another one of those games where we don't have a uh, a big kind of um, yes, 13 shots, 14 shots, 7 on target, not one highlight, and we're nearly at half time. This is ridiculous. Here's McKenney to Embu. Kavanagh. Ka oh, Max Cohen with a header. 1 0. In the 44th minute. Wow, fourth goal of the season for him. McKenney threw it to Ambu, he missed his cross. Kavanagh found Cohen, good header. Don't know what the keeper were doing there, McGilvery. Um, but that puts us in first place in the league. Um, I don't want to. Rangers are drawing one all with Hibernian. A guy called Dylan. Oh god, I'm not pronouncing that. Hugerworth. Dylan. If Ananya Chukwu Hugerworth has scored for them. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a lot more to come from you boys. Let's get out there, play, come on. Let's get creative straight away. Come on, lads. I might go 4-3-3. Edwards plays it down the line for force. And uh, Gebby held him up. Cohen intercepts that. Plays it across to Murdoch. Thought he'd put too much on that. Oh, he's gone long for Kavanagh. Oh, good save there by the keeper. Butcher then clears it. Hmm. They've not had a shot on goal or shot on target yet. Um, we had 23 shots, 10 on target. I think I'd do what I said I was going to do before. We'll bring Embu off. Um, we'll bring Kavanagh off. And we're going to bring uh, Cohen off. 
Right, that's going to need some rejigging, but let's just go to tactics. So Marchese will come into midfield and he'll be an advanced playmaker who attacks. Bilic will go up front, as will Carabayal. Um, Carabayal is 6'9", so he's got to go in the middle there, hasn't he? Advance forward. Why is he not a target man? Target man attack. We're going to use him as a target man. Um, and we're going to start training him as a uh, target man who attacks, I think. There we go. So, 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, passing directness. Slightly more direct. Just dribble a little bit less. Um, distribute to target man. Let's push up as well. Um, put a bit of pressure on them. It's still 1-0. They're doing well to hold out. We've had 26 shots, 10 on target. We've had 66% uh, possession. Here's McKenney. Can't find anyone. Kutov's about to clear that to Josh Bowler. He's running through the middle. We could be in trouble here. Hold him up. Good lads. There's Farai and Cochran in the middle. Farai tackled by McKenney. And here's Shane Morris now. Oh, tackled from behind by Seamus Coleman. Don't think the referee liked that. Oh, he's been sent off. Got a red card. So let's demand more from the boys. We should be closing them down a lot more now. Good header by Ayer, but Farai gets a hold of that. Gives it Edwards. Stand him up. Come on. Good block there by our player. Oh, Billich. Billich trying to tackle Butcher. Billich is going to get on the end of that. Butcher's just kicked it away. Josip Billich going a long way around. Oh my word, he just hit one from 45 yard. Josip Billich, what a dude. 45 yard, yeah, no problem. I'm going to smash it. What a lad. Billage, oh, kicked from behind by Edwards. Gebby, putting one into the box, into the mixer. Bedui. Florentino Louise. Garabayal, oh, there he is, the big lad. Um, in fact, let's uh, float, float across us. Yeah. Work the ball into the box, there we go. Not sure we're going to get another chance, but we should have probably been doing that, considering the striker is six foot nine. So one nil against them firmly. They had one shot, one on target. Um, we had sixty eight percent possession, twenty nine shots, eleven on target. Well, who's the player? Seamus Coleman got red card for them. Uh, Josh Edwards, Kyle Bartley, Matt Butcher, Craig McGilvery, they did okay. 6.8, 6.9s. Sam Woods got a 6.9. Josh Bowler got a 6.8. They did alright. Well, that was very respectable, that actually, Brian. Let's go to the dressing room here and just hand over to the assistant. He's just said nothing in particular. Thanks. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to have to tell him I was impressed with him. And I really wasn't. There we go. But hey ho. Um, so we've still got a game in hand the Rangers annoyingly they're still one point ahead of us um, they managed to beat Hibernian in 3-1 uh, they came from behind Kaka Rangers have got Kaka what the hell oh it's a new gen player he looks pretty good as well he's on loan from Chelsea 18 million Oh, described as a wonder kid. Okay. 
Let's have a little look at Rangers as uh, side as well while we're doing this. So they've got Minier in goal, Tavernier, goals and Mothra, who I've just put a bid in for, by the way. We bid twenty eight million for him. Um, we couldn't get it done before the uh, the transfer window. He's six foot six, centre half, described as a wonder kid. Um, we're in for him. Barisic at left back, Kaka and Aribo in midfield, Ojo, Che, Hak, Sabanovic, playing behind Carlin Grant. Okay, so they've signed him. How much did they pay for him? Free? For Muddersfield, they got him for free. They never got him for free. Cheats. <laughs> Bloody cheats. Um, Bolly Bolling Goalie plays for them. And he's unhappy. <laughs> oh man. Um, that player, Koku's got injured. Two to four month. Sad times. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so so. They're okay. Billich set for pay increase. Oh, 1300 quid a week. He should be on that now. Marchese makes Celtic debut. And uh, Celtic win five straight. There you go. Let's see. So that's Dundee beating 3 1. Dunfermline beating 1 0. And in the next game, we're playing Livingston and Paris Saint Germain in the next episode. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see how this squad carries on developing because I'm liking it. We need to move a few players out at the end of the season, a few of the older ones. But there's a lot of young talent here, and uh, yeah, it's only going to get better. Six foot nine, Jesus. Um, keeper is 6'7 A is 6'5 Semper, Finley, Matt Pride and Sharp are all 6'4 Gebby and Morris are 6'3 I might play 4-3-3 with the tallest side we have and see how we do anyway thanks very much for hitting that like button and subscribing I will see you all very soon take care of yourself I'll see you in the next one